I thought I could show you how you can actually create a Chrome extension using only one prompt in Claude 3.5. So we are going to use something called project here. So I just started a new project, right? And give it a name, Chrome extension. We're going to set our custom instruction here in our project uh, description here. So this is kind of the custom instruction I just like to use for projects so basically pretty simple when i do coding you're a software dev with expertise in the kind of uh, thing i want to build so today i put down chrome extensions javascript etc your task is to develop based on the instruction from the user and i have this when you write code always use very descriptive variable names extensive use of comments to explain code blocks write clean and effective code and that is basically uh, that i have been using so far for all my projects and it's been working pretty good you can see we have some content here added to our project knowledge. This is uh, for the extension we're going to build today. We're going to use GPT-40 to analyze images using a simple extension. So here I kind of just went over to OpenAI and I copied from the documentation the kind of information I need, I think I need at least, to build our app. So I grabbed some information about GPT-40's vision capabilities pasted that into a text file and just uploaded it here in our project knowledge using this upload from device. So that's very easy to set up. So I think I'm just gonna go through the prompt we are gonna use today to build our Chrome extension. So yeah, I'm also gonna leave this prompt uh, on my website so you can go just copy it and try it out for yourself. So let me just read through this. You can of, of course skip this, but uh, I'm gonna read through it so you can kind of get the gist of what we are gonna build today. So hello, I want to create a Chrome extension that uses the load and packed feature in extensions to create a custom Chrome extension. I'm going to show you how you set that up. It's very easy to use. So the first thing is when the user runs the extension and execute a browser action by clicking on the extension icon, the extension will screenshot the current screen, save the screenshot to a folder name image in the current work directory, then process the image with the GPT-4 OAPI, use documentation, then you can see I referenced the openai.txt we have uploaded here. So it kind of we know that this is the documentation we want to use in this uh, implementation. The second step of my extension is gonna be use GPT-40 to identify the URL of the web page and a title. So basically, if we find an interesting web page, we can just click on the extension and store that so we can have it saved in our notes. Or we can make a small note of anything that is on the screen. So I'm going to show you how I, I think that's going to work. And the third part is the extension should create a small pop-up that shows the gathered information from the screen and save the URL with a title uh, or the notes to a file. So this is the kind of the lookup feature if you save a lot of notes. This file can be displayed as a pop-up from the extensions menu so the user can look at the saved notes. And that is all I'm going to put in. I'm going to finish this prompt with can you help me get started building this extension step by step for me please. That is all I'm going to give it now, and hopefully this is enough to kind of create a one-shot Chrome extension. So let's just run this now and take a look at the results. Okay, so you can see here now we kind of got our step-by-step -step instructions. So step one is going to be set up our manifest.json. We're going to create a pop-up.html. We're going to create a pop-up.js that's going to contain our logic. We're going to implement a background script called background.js, right? So here we get kind of our implementation how we want to do this. We want to create a new directory. We want to get our OpenAI API key, right? We want to implement the screenshot function, create icon files. So these three files just for our extension, that's going to be some icons. Uh, we're going to load the extension in Chrome and then we're going to test it. So let me just show you how we can do this now. So I went over to VS Code Studio, just opened a new folder. I added an image folder background.js and I have this OpenAI key here that I have revoked so I just put that in here. Uh, I created these three icons, right? Files. We have the manifest.json, we have the popup.html and we have the popup.js, right? And all of this uh, I just found here in the answer from uh, Claude 3.5, right? Pretty simple, just copy this, go to Claude, uh, find our file, paste it in. And that is basically all we need for our extension. So now I'm going to show you how we can actually set this up and start testing and see if this actually works. And to do that, you just have to go to this Chrome uh, colon slash slash extensions 
and you will get to this page here and then you're going to tick off something called developer mode up in here right so tick that off and we're going to do something called load unpack it unpacked here so i'm going to click on this then i'm going to find my folder so this is the folder where i have all my files so i'm just going to click select this right and there you can see here is our extension now so this is the ai screenshot analyzer uh, we can of course just reload this we can yeah you can see this is ticked off we can go up in the corner here and pin this and now we kind of have our icon up in here and we can actually start testing this so remember this is supposed to analyze the screenshot and save the notes or the url from this screenshot so yeah let's just test it out and see if it works okay so here i am on my website so now we can just uh, find the extension up in here click it and we can see we have capture and analyze screenshot so i'm just going to click on that and this has to process the image we captured and hopefully we will get some saved notes down here yeah perfect and now you can see uh, we saved the url on the web page we are on and we kind of got some information about the page so you can see it's a personal website overview the image features some information about me right uh, and if we go back here now and we click back up on this yeah these are the same notes we have so that is perfect we have the url and we have the information so now let's load up a different website and see if we can do the same over there okay so we are on the verge.com now let's just click here uh, capture and analyze and see if we can actually get the same uh, response here so hopefully we will get the url yeah that's good and we got a small uh, description of what the page is about uh, if we go back out now and we go back in you can see these are saved to our notes here so yeah i'm super happy with this remember this was a one shot prompt right so we only use this prompt to create this super simple but quite useful extension so i think this just shows how easy it is to use claw 3.5 if you kind of prompt it the correct way, you explain in detail what you want, you provide uh, kind of the documentation we needed for this. So this was the OpenAI documentation. And yeah, super easy to use. Uh, I'm gonna share this prompt on my website here. I'm just gonna create a small tab here where you can find this. Uh, maybe on the homepage here, you can just find the prompt I used today. You can try it out for yourself. Of course, you could just alter kind of the the input text and kind of try to create the extension you want. So I think spending five minutes creating your custom uh, extensions to whatever you want. I think that's so cool with this new uh, programming thing. And you don't need any technical skills almost to do this. It's a very simple step-by-step uh, -step instruction. You can just follow right. So I think everyone should be able to follow these instructions here if you have some vague technical knowledge. So yeah, super interesting, super cool to follow this space to see what we can build using these AI tools going forward. So very excited. Uh, I'm almost back from my holiday, so there's going to be more videos coming soon. No camera today, but uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and speak soon.